Hello, welcome back. Well, I've just got back from Tembe and we had a bit of wind last night, but apparently the valleys of Wales had a very strong wind and I've had a note through the door from a neighbour saying your shed roof was blown off. Look at that shed has been blown off. Now it's my own fault because I didn't tack it down. I thought the weight would have been enough. Right, I will bring some screws down, but I can't do it today though. I'll just keep an eye on the, on the weather forecast. Usually it's fine, but it's just because of this very strong wind, which I'm pretty sure has now passed. What a welcome in the valley after a nice relaxing few days in Tembe. To think I had my feet in the sea this morning. On the day that I left for Tembe, these turned up in the post and I couldn't deal with them. So I've just put them out. I'll show you what I've got. Is it worth £60 that I paid? I don't think so. But we've got Brussels sprouts. That's worth having it. Lettuce, I'm not bothered about. Purple sprouting, yes, that's worthy. Uh, chard, you can always do it chard beetroot i've never transplanted beetroot something that hasn't got a label on looks like a cabbage winter cabbage yes that's worth having that and kale which is for cows isn't it everything else seems perfectly fine right i'm not staying down here because as i said the rain is coming and I want to take it easy for the rest of the day. I have been on holiday, you know. Welcome to a bank holiday in Wales. It's raining. Now I'm in Triorki and apparently just across there, there is a food festival. So I'm going to go and have a look at it. In fact, there's a sign here, Chalky Food and Drink Festival. So I'm going to go and look at that. But it's also the last day of Cyril the Butchers. So I thought I would call in there and just wish him well for his retirement. There you go, he's just down now to the last bits, selling it all off. How's it going, Cyril? Busy yeah, day? Fine, yeah, I've been quite busy. Yeah, At least the sun will come out next week and you can get on and do oh, your well, buildings. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll have a look. Yeah. What have you got then? Just the last bits? Not a lot, Sean, sure, no. Just uh, what we're looking for, right? Oh well, I just thought I'd. Well, I've come down mainly to go and have a look at the fest, to go and look at the food, oh, yes, the food festival. But I thought I'd call in. I thought there might have been a jazz band outside. No, no, I hope not. Just a nice quiet ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. You've been a great asset to the village. Yeah, well, it's been a privilege as well. And I was. Uh, it was. It's been an honour, really, because people are so nice around, and uh, you know. They're more like, like I said before, they're more like friends. Like, yeah. yeah. Time to move on though. Yeah, time to move on. Enjoy yourself with your feet up next week. <laughs> and if you ever need to do a bit of gardening, I've got you a plot want, you can come and take. Yeah, no, I can't. Well, just passed on all your best wishes to Cyril. And we'll catch up with him in a few months once he's settled into his new routine. Right. I've got to find where this is. Apparently it's down by the Park and Air Theatre. 
Just as we pass the Rotary Community Shop here, in their window, they've got a display. And I've noticed there's a book there by Paul Peacock, which is a, a friend of the channel. He died now, sadly, a few years ago. But I'm going to see if I can try and get that book when they change the window next week. Right. Let us... I, let's have a look around. Apparently it's all going on down here. Certainly a crowd of something's occurring. Oh, the sun is out down here. They're pulling in. Although, to be honest, I don't really get this thing. Let's go out and eat food from a stall in a street. I'd rather have a good meal indoors. Oh, right. Here it is. This used to be a chapel. And they've got nice benches there. Look at that, a stall just about cheesecakes. Oh, candles. That's a strange thing to eat. Also, what's this? Grandma's kitchen. Hold on, let's have a quick look, because you don't normally come into this little bit. Look at that, nice shot of the, the river after the storm. So let's have a look now, what's this? Little Grandma's Kitchen, award-winning preserves. Oh, and look, they've got all these little pots here where you can test things out. That's great, isn't it? Let's have a look at their website. Maybe you want to go on there and have a look at what they've got. I like this idea of getting the little pots here so people can test them. Great. Yeah, you can try everything. What's over here? Oh, the chutney side, is it? Yeah. I can't see a test of a beetroot chutney. On the back. Just here. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Look at that. Right, let's have a look at the other store. I'll have a look on there website to see what they've got. Oh. Look at these nice cakes here. It's a bit too early for me though. I'll have to come back. And then over here then, what have we got over here? Welsh cakes glow on this side. Look at these. Welsh cakes of different flavours. I've never seen them at that shape before. But we'll come back at the end and get some. And then on this bit, what do we got over here? Shirley's homemade raw chocolate. Look at that. Do you want to try a piece of chocolate beer? Do you want to carry that bag? Look at those yeah. slices. Yeah. Look at those slices over there. Hold on. Can I just have a quick little look at them? Look at them. It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, isn't it? Mm. I'll come back at the end. <laughs> right, let's go to the theatre and have a look what's occurring. Well, I wasn't expecting this. I thought it would be two stalls and a dog. Oh, they've got the fire brigade there. Expecting things to hot up, are they? Right, let's cross the road and have a little meander through the stalls. I think there's some inside the theatre as well. Have a look what's down here. Not that I'm in the market for anything. Oh, look, this is that mysterious Banksy guy with his pictures. Is he going to make an appearance? He's never going to make an appearance. He's never, is he? No. I think Banksy is sure. No comment. Right, let's go on and have a look at what's here. Oh, look at these. You can buy mugs with Trochion. Look. 
Love Trail Climax. I'm actually trying to get rid of stuff in the house rather than buy more. That's the greatest thing to happen here since the yes, Ice 1920s. Gower Donut Company. They've come a long way. Look at these donuts of every flavour. The diet will certainly have to start tomorrow. At least then you I want a pasty, yeah? Look at the size on those pasties. Yeah, it's a meal by itself. And those pies down there. Okay. Well, despite what I said about eating out, I was thinking more of kebabs and things like that. I didn't realise it was going to be cakes. Look at these slabs of cake here. I quite like that one there, Ch cherry bakewell. What's this called? Let's have a look. This is called Bloom Sugar Cakes by Helen. Oh, there's a lot of jams around, isn't it? This is the, the little black hen. Oh, I do need some balsamic vinegar. one of their cards there and have a look. I like the design and the the pots of these. Well, in fact, that's what I'm trying to find. A business card. More cakes again. The diet is certainly starting tomorrow. Apparently, there is even more over in the Park and Dare. Look at this, even the farmers come down to look. 
in his Jeep thing. Unless that's a stall, have a little ride around the village for a pound. Let's have a look what's inside here then. Somebody said there's something over in the boys club or something, but I'm not sure where that is. So we will certainly be going on a journey. There you go. Do the London way and just walk straight out. And they'll soon stop. <laughs> right, well there's crowds of people walking down here, so it must be this way then. Oh, look at this. A circus. and get your car washed at the same time. Well, it's turning into a beautiful day. I've bought some stuff for the shed. I'll show you that later on. Right, I need a cup of tea, I'm gasping. But I've been very good. I haven't had a crumb of cake yet. I recently had a request about sending stamps to a charity. So I never knew this thing existed. So I will cut this stamp out and send it off. I've just come back and I've had a letter from Sylvia who says that she's noticed that of all the magnets that I've had, I haven't had one from Germany. 
Well, she used to live in Weedon in Bavaria, not far from the Czech border. So she has sent a China magnet. So that is something for the board. So just in case you missed it, what I'm going to do is I'll fill this up again and then when it gets full, I'll take all the magnets down to the shed and then we have a clean bill to start again. Right, I've been down Truoki. It's just gone four o'clock now. Cyril's gone. No more butchers in Truoki. And like I said earlier, all the best to you, Cyril. You've been a great asset to not only Truoki, but to Tanuith. And enjoy your retirement. Don't forget, if you want to do a bit of digging, keep fit, come to my homestead. I haven't unpacked my bags from Tembi. So while I'm doing my shopping, I thought I may as well do my bags. So I bought some sticks of rock, pound twenty-five each, which I thought was a bit much. And the guy who sold me them said that yesterday was the last day there are no more cash machines in Tembi. Not in the main square, nothing. I also, what's this? Oh yes, this is a gift for somebody. A bit of organic seaweed gin. That is a gift for a few weeks time. I bought some, I can't remember what I bought to be honest, daffodils. And I've bought quite a few because they were, I can't remember how much they were now, three, four, four pound or something. So I, I've got five pounds worth. So I'll take them down the homestead. I'm, I'm still going to get some from Farmer Gracie because I like the colours of their tulips. So what else is in there? Nothing. I think there was an almond croissant. What's this? Ah. So if you remember back in the day, the plan was always this side was for magnets for you to send me. And this side was for magnets of places I've been to. So we've got Caerphilly Castle, and now we've got a Tembi one. It's a sort of 3D one. So we'll pop that on the board, Tembi. And also we might have one more go in there, but I'll tell you for that in the autumn. I bought a new mug. You can't have too many mugs, can you? So give that a bit of a wash. I have got a bit of a fixation with mugs. That was eight pound. So I will ha use that now for a cup of tea. I have certain mugs for certain parts of the day and the evening. So that's the new one to add. I can't remember what I bought, to be honest. Oh yes, these were a little free gift. Some biscuits and some sweets. So we'll pop them. What is this? Tea bags. Some tea bags there. Again, more biscuits. Don't know where they're all coming from. Ah, SD card got full then. So let me show that one to you again. I bought this for my indoor plants, a little spray. And again, it seems to be a very in thing at the moment, a bit of green ribbed glass. Must find something to do with this tissue paper. Now I bought one of these at Glastonbury about 10 years ago and the tiles are starting to fall off it. So when I saw this, I thought I'll have that so I can replace the one that is falling apart on my desk. What I'll do is that one on my desk, I'll take down to the homestead and I will use down there. What else do we have? Ah, yes. I need a knob for the shed, something to pull it. So I thought, let's go fancy. So I've got a crystal knob for the homestead shed. I've also got, because I need a new jug for the 
for the bathroom, a new little cup for the bathroom for when you, you know, when you do your teeth. So I've got a bit of ribbed blue glass this time. It's all about the ribbed glass. And again, what's this? I can't remember. Ah, another mug. This time with Tembi on. This one might be more for my collection rather than for to be used. And then, what else do we have? Got a lot of business cards I picked up. What else? Ah, yes. And what's the other thing that I collect? Tea towels. Look at this one. Tembi at night. That is beautiful. This also ties in with something I bought for the bathroom as well, which I will show you in a moment. Right, let me just tidy up and make some space on the card and we can carry on. So maybe now it's time for a good cup of tea and a commercial break. There I go, every time I go to the toilet, I can relive the memories of Tembi. Look at that, Tembi in a sunset. Beautiful. It even sort of glows in the dark. Right, let us now pack away my shopping. <laughs> 